Well, hello there everybody, it's Sally Cathcart here from The Curious Piano Teachers and welcome to another Tuesday Teaching Tips. So today I just wanted to talk about studio challenges and the three reasons why I think it's important to include a studio challenge into your teaching year. Let me explain what I mean by a studio challenge. I've got one happening in my studio at the moment and it's called the Flashnote Derby Challenge. And Flashnote Derby, if you don't know, is, is a great app for helping note reading and learning the names of individual notes. So we're having a, um, a studio challenge and because it's the Flashnote Derby, Derby meaning a race, so um, we're actually having a Flashnote Derby race, basically. And I'll tell you how I set that up in, in a few moments. But everybody in the studio is doing it. Not my adults, although I have done them in the past with adults, but all certainly all my younger pupils from secondary age down. And because everybody is doing it and everybody knows they're doing it, it creates a real sense of belonging to your studio. You know, they come to here once a week, um, but they know they are part of something that is bigger. So that's one reason why studio challenges are good. Another one is that it really motivates pupils because we all like a challenge, I certainly do, and our students and our pupils are no different. So they get highly motivated by these challenges. And the third reason is that for you, it gives you a real purpose and a sense of clarity, um, certainly about part of each and every lesson whilst the studio challenge is going on. So let me tell you a little bit more about my Flashnote Derby Challenge. So the way I set it up is I set it up to run for four weeks. We always have a warm up week first where I explain the challenge to them. And um, then they have to go away, they download the app, the Flashnote Derby app, onto their own iPads, parents will help them. And then the idea is they practice at home and they try to get the highest score they can for the notes that they read. Now, Flashnote Derby is tremendous fun. And if you haven't, if you haven't discovered, you really must. Um, and there's all sorts of different options that you can, you can use to get your score and the sort of different scenarios that you can use have increased these days. So we have a Space Force and there's a Pretty Pegasus um, as well as the Fresh Air one and then at Christmas time very popular Reindeer Racing which is still around at the moment but I suspect it's going to disappear any moment now. So every time they um, do a race it means that they've chosen a selected number of notes and for every note they get right they get points and the faster they go so there's walk trot counter gallop the more points they get per note and the more notes they have then again the more points they get so i create a flash note derby champion sheet like this okay i'm just going to hide my names there so not not that they particularly are bothered but um and i've got the dates down here and we're going well. And the first week you see people were on, um, it depends on my who, what standard there are, but my beginners were on sort of about 552, 552, whereas uh, my more intermediate students are on sort of 13, 12 and 13,000. And the idea is that hopefully they will improve their score week on week. And indeed, who did really well? Oh, yes. Um, young, young William did really well from first week to second week. And he went from 3,370 to 8,505. And then he's plateaued a bit last yesterday when he did it. Um, so they enjoy that because they can all see what everybody's doing and oh, how am I doing? And I will handicap, as I call it, um, some of the more advanced students so uh those that are sort of um playing scales and knowledge of keys you can actually set it up so that you only answer the question so f major and all the b's will have a b flat key signature yeah so um that's one way that you can handicap them i've gone to even further lengths this year because i've actually got a flash note derby championship trophy which got them very excited when that arrived and you can see it just says flash note derby champion so the winner will go home with that but everybody will get a special music medal because we all love getting something for doing these little challenges so they're a lot of fun this we're having a great deal of fun with this and the children are all highly motivated 
to uh, to do well for themselves. And of course, the added advantage is they're all practicing their note reading like mad. OK, I've also held in the past scale challenges and championships, and they've gone down an absolute treat. And I'm probably going to do that one of those um, in the first half of the summer term. So I don't take a long time for the challenge. I make it really quite short and quite manageable, um, because if we go on for too long, children just lose, lose sight of where they're going. They don't have the same kind of timeline as we do. So studio challenges, if you're not using any in your studio, then do think about that because it does create, as I said, that sense of belonging. It also helps to motivate your students and it gives you, the teacher, a real sense of purpose and clarity about one particular aspect of, of what you're teaching. And the final thing is they're just lots of fun and everybody gets on board and really enjoys it. So thank you for joining me. I can see, yep, Judith is there and Catherine, so welcome. Uh, thank you for joining me and I hope that's given you some food for thought. Go away, think about what studio challenge you could use in your studio to benefit your students. That's all for now. Happy teaching. Bye bye.